and tag and title service located at 7000 Belair Road, Baltimore, Maryland. Zip code is 21206. Our phone number is 410-668-6000. Hours are Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 7. Sunday is 1 to 6. Today, um, I want to talk about my advice to all tag and title agents. I'm just here to give you my piece of advice because I hear a lot of things and my customers tell me, well, my customers tell me what other people do. So I'm just going to like give you my piece of advice because this business is very serious. I've told you guys, this business is not for everybody. This business is not for everybody. So if you're going to be in this business and you're not doing, you're not in compliance to what they want us to do, you're going to be found out one day. They say every day for the thief, one day is for the owner. You're going to be caught one day. So I'm here to give you my own piece of advice as to my experiences in this business and also from talking to my customers or what they come to tell me. So I'm just going to start with Savage. Savage, you're not authorized. Savage, you're not authorized to process. I don't know where you guys get any kind of information. There was this uh, tag and title agent I met one time. I'm not going to mention names, but he's been closed down. He told me he's been processing Savage. I say for real? Savage, you're not authorized to process. Check the interactive tag and title. Is it tag and title and registration manual? Check that paper, it lists all the things. I have it here which I'm going to mention. The things we are not authorized to process. I'm gonna state that. Cause your job, if you go into this business and you think you're going to sit down and, and just sit down and be making money, you're in the wrong business. You have to read. That manual they gave you is for your information. It's for you to refer to, to know the things you're authorized to process and the things you're not authorized to process. So anyway, let's cut to the chase cause I don't have the whole day to talk. Um, what is a uh, savage? Savage is a vehicle that's been in an accident. When a vehicle has been in an accident, the value is low. The book value is not the same as uh, the original title. Let me give you an example. I have two vehicles here. One is savage and one is a uh, clean clear title. Okay, this is the clean. Clean clear title, you see how this title is? If it was savage, you would have had something here. This is clean. You see no announcements whatsoever. This is a clean, clear title in the, in the state of Maryland. And also, all tag and title people are only authorized to process clean, clear title vehicles such as this. This is for Maryland. Other states like Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania will write reconstructed here. If it says reconstructed, it means savage. And some will use, you see where it says brand? It will say S. It might not spell a savage here for you, but it will say S. If it says S, it's savage. You're not authorized to process it. Some of them will write it boldly on the title. You get some titles, it will just spell out savage, like in all caps. It will spell out savage. They don't have to spell it out for you to know. Pay attention to the title. When you get the title, check the make, model, brand, the make, the class, the V number, the title number. Make sure you read everything step by step. You have to. This business is not something you'll be rushing to register. You have to take your time to make sure you register that vehicle based on the information on that title. That's why they call it certificate of title. This is your, it's just like when you buy a house. This is your deed. This is the deed of your vehicle. So every information you, uh, you need about that vehicle is here. If you get otherwise, then there's a problem. So anyway, cut to the chase. This is a clean clear title here in the state of Maryland. I'm going to show you the savage one. That way you'll be able to know the difference. This is savage. You see this one here? It says SAR, XR. XR means a savage. You're not authorized to process it. This, you don't have to go... Uh, to the uh, savage inspection. This has been through that inspection. So all you do is you don't go to a tag and title agent I'm um, talking about the customers. You take it to MVA. If you want to work it on behalf of your customer You're free to do so. They give me hard times. I, I had time at motor vehicle So I don't take savage anymore to motor vehicle to process because every time I go there is is hell so I decline. I send the customers. I say, take it, go to motor vehicle. So you're not authorized to process anything written on this. You see, any announcement whatsoever. It's supposed to be clean, just like this title is. You see, no announcement. This is clean, clear title. 
This is a clean, clear title here in the state of Maryland. This is only all you're authorized to process. Every, all the clean, clear titles. No announcements here. That's what you're supposed to process. A lot of tag and title people process this. You're not authorized. I remember going to MV and they told me, Miss Liver, the one in Essex. I am ready to vouch this. If they like MV, MVA come to me. My agent is my witness. I took it there. They told me I had the uh, authority to process it. I had to request for the uh, agent. Uh, um, uh, what do you call it? The supervisor. The supervisor said the same thing. Call the manager. Manager said the same thing. I had to put my agent on the phone. I said, ma'am, I'm not authorized. I'm not taking this to my office. And I'm not authorized to process this. I called my agent. My agent told them this lady is not authorized to process this. So... Be careful. You don't have to rely on what tomorrow vehicle tells you because sometimes you call three people, they tell you three different things. You have to call the ERT department. Don't call this regular MVA. MVA, they are not a uh, business licensing department. Our department is different for tag and title agents. Call your agent. Your agent will guide you in this business. Don't call other tag and title people to give you any information because if they're doing wrong, they're going to give you the wrong information. So call your agent. Your agent is the only person that can guide you the right way to do this business. Anyway, I've showed you the two difference. I mean, the difference between a clean, clear title. This is a clean, clear title. No announcement whatsoever. You see how it's clean, clear? No lien. If there was a lien, it would have been here. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about announcements being here. So this is a clean, clear title. This is what we authorize to process. Anything here, any announcement, sometimes it will say a salvage, or it will say rebuild salvage, or it might say abandoned, or it might say flooded. Any announcement whatsoever you see around here. Take it to motor vehicle or send the customer. Send the customer to motor vehicle. If you have the time to go and process on behalf of the customer, that's your headache. Anyway, also another thing I want to talk about, all these ones, once you see the titles like this being processed, your customers don't have to go through the savage inspection because some of them, they don't even know the difference between going for savage inspection and just going to motor vehicle to register a vehicle with an announcement here. So I'm going to talk about the ones that requires a, 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 a savage inspection. When you get a Maryland title that is green, it's going to be green. It's going to say Maryland Certificate of Savage. That's what it will say. That requires a savage inspection. Go to MVA, uh, Google, Savage Inspection, follow the link, and then go schedule for the inspection. Another one is vehicles purchased from an insurance auction, such as Copart, IAA. Those two auctions I know. Any vehicle you purchase from there and it says, and it has a sticker on it, and then on the back of it, is, it says uh, IAA, you know, as the dealer that sold, as the auction that sold to the dealer. If you see IAA on the back of it or you see Copart, know that that vehicle requires Maryland, uh, savage inspection. Sometimes they put a sticker on it. We say IAA, you know, have IAA sticker. A lot of them will peel it off and then come to a tag and tarot and expect them to register. I had one customer that came here, peeled it off, and I was telling him he needed a savage inspection. He was here uh, telling me, no, I don't need savage inspection. Other tag, I said that my friend who registers it for me is closed. That's why I came to you. I say, sir, you require. Do you want me to call a state trooper to tell you that you require Maryland safety inspection? He left my office. I think he was trying trying to sell the vehicle to the customer, and he wasn't even telling the customer it was savage. He was telling him it was a clean, clear title. I say, sir, I was saying that in front of the customer and him. I said, this is savage. Whoever registers that vehicle, their license is at stake. I don't know what they do, but. People need more information on this because a lot of tag and title people don't know. Why I have this information is because I used to be a dealer. So I've been through this and I read a lot and I'm talking from experience. Anyway, such cars from IAA, uh, Copart, uh, Savage Vehicles, most of them. And sometimes, too, so you see a title, like on the front of the title, it will say uh, Geico, or it will say Erie Insurance, or it will say uh, State Farm. As long as it says insurance company name on the front of the title, this requires Maryland Savage Inspection. Yes. Do you know why that vehicle is in this uh, company name? This is like when your vehicle is totaled and then you sign the title over to the insurance uh, the insurance company. Then the insurance company will go get the title in their name and then and now they turn around to sell it to somebody. When they turn around to sell it to somebody, savage. 
any vehicle uh, insurance auctions are not licensed uh, dealers or how do i put it they are just into insurance auctions you know to sell accident cars that's what they do so any vehicle you buy from any of this insurance company anything that says insurance company requires maryland savage inspection here in the state of maryland all vehicles purchased from insurance company, which I've said, insurance, okay, note, there's, there will be a seeker. I said, yeah, I've already mentioned that there will be a seeker. Sometimes they peel off the seeker. If they peel off the seeker, look on the back of that title or on the reassignment. You will see IAA on it. The IAA will go from, it will go from the IAA to the dealer that purchased that vehicle from you. So if he says IAA, you know it requires a savage inspection. You tell the uh, customer to go to, um go uh yeah go to mva to request for a savage inspection you have to book it online and pay 25 dollars you know in order for you to inspect the vehicle also when they you when you register a vehicle and that vehicle is in your name is in your name yeah hey sorry sorry i'm making a video yeah sorry thank you sir thank you yes sorry my main man when you register a vehicle when you when your vehicle gets into an accident, let's say a vehicle you have registered here in the state of Maryland, a clean, clear title, when you had the title, it was clean like this, and it gets into an accident. When you get into an accident and then you buy that vehicle back from that uh, insurance company, it becomes savage. More vehicle deletes that vehicle from the system or flag you. Sometimes they make you, depend on the severity, if it's just a minor accident, MVA will tell you to go for Maryland safety inspection. If the accident is severe, you have to go schedule for safety, um, what do you call it, uh, savage inspection. MVA will write to you, get something in the mail that will tell you whether you're going for savage inspection or you're going for Maryland safety. This is like another Maryland safety inspection. So when MVA will do that, MVA will request for the old title and then will, say you, will send you a title that's got savage on it meaning this vehicle has been in an accident remember you bought it, it was in an accident and you bought it from your insurance company so when you buy from your insurance company it becomes savage meaning the book value of that vehicle is very it's low it's slow now it's not like the original book value so remember that tag and title people be careful also when you registering a vehicle if the title of the okay yes i've mentioned this if the insurance company on the front of the title if it's insurance company that's on there is the owner of the vehicle i told you it requires savage inspection okay don't tag and title do not register it as a regular vehicle because if mva will find that they will trace that vehicle and they will trace it to you and if they trace it to you you're you're in trouble Check the brand of the title. When you're registering a vehicle, check the brand of the title. The brand will say A. A will say actual. Some states will, you know, it will tell you the things that, you know, what, what they mean, like the brand. A is actual. And here in the state of Maryland, B is exceeds mechanical limit. C is not actual mileage. And yeah, C is not actual mileage. We don't use the S. S, we don't use it here in the state of Maryland. What they'll do is to spell out whatever dent that title has, the an announcement they want to make, they make it on the front of the title. Some states will use S. If you see S as the brand, just know that it's savage. You're not authorized to process that. You send it, send them to MVA. Also, we have people who would uh, uh, register, you know, buy a vehicle that will go to the auction and use their transport license. Transport license means when people buy a, a license, it's like when you buy a vehicle, that vehicle has to be shipped out of the country. You're not supposed to register here, register the vehicle here in the state of Maryland. Your license is to buy and ship, buy and ship. You don't buy and change your mind and say you want to register the vehicle. You cannot. If you want to register the vehicle, use an authorized dealer agent to buy that vehicle. If you want to register, go through a retail dealer, let the retail dealer sell you the vehicle the right way you cannot use your transport license and then you now want to reassign it to a maryland dealer tag and title people when you get your paperwork trace the dealers on that paperwork a lot of people i remember a customer that came to me and was telling me his vehicle was a uh, he used a transport license to buy the vehicle when i looked at the back of the title i said how come the title is saying nigeria here this is transport license uh, he reassigned to like three or four people he said, Kaleen, this is what most people do. I say, I cannot register the vehicle. You have to ship the car to Africa. You're not authorized to 
register the vehicle here in the state of Maryland. So he came here and was telling me how to go about how to register that vehicle. I said, sir, are you the one running the business? This is car Tag and Taro. I tell you how I run the business. If you don't like it, that's the door for you. So Tag and Taro people, pay attention. There are a lot of people that will use transport license. How do you know it's transport license? You will see a foreign address on the back of the title. You will see, it will say Nigeria. Some of them will say Nigeria. You will see Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria, or some kind of state Nigeria. It will not say Maryland address. It will not send, it will not have any address in America. It will have an address that is out of state. So transport license is for people who buy a ship. That's what the license is for. So pay attention to your reassignment when you get your paper. Do not register vehicles sold by a dealer. Okay, if you, yeah, tag and tell people. If you buy, if you see a customer that will walk into your office and you look at the back of the title, is a Maryland dealer that sold it to the customer and the customer doesn't have Maryland safety inspection, do not register that vehicle. Here in the state of Maryland, the dealers are authorized. Most of them don't have the license to issue place. So when they sell a car, their job is to come here, come to go to any tag and title with the paperwork, uh, make sure that they have a uh, power of attorney from the customer, giving them permission to get plates on their behalf. And then they must have mainland safety inspection. So if it has to be that dealer that will come to you. If you see an individual that will give you a vehicle and you look on the back of it, it says Baltimore, Maryland as the dealer selling to the customer. They have to give you mainland safety inspection. If they don't give you mainland safety inspection, do not register that vehicle. Or you tell him to go and bring the dealer. Let the dealer give him a land safety inspection for him to come and register the vehicle. Uh, register the vehicle. Out of state, uh -huh. out of state uh, titles, the system sometimes doesn't pick the uh, doesn't pick the brand of the vehicle and doesn't pick the you know like doesn't yeah it doesn't. Like when you put the mileage, like here in Maryland, if you put a mileage that is higher than what's registered at motor vehicle, no, that is lower than what's registered at motor vehicle, you get a flag. Out of state, we don't have that. So when you're registering an out of state uh, v uh, vehicle, make sure you look on the brand. It's going to tell you not actual. Maryland will say actual, but in Maryland, Maryland, the system will pick it, will tell you the uh, odometer registered at motor vehicle is more. And then you know it's not actual. So when you get that, I take it to the customer and say, I need for you to, you see, the system is telling me that a mileage is high at motor vehicle. So you have to check not actual for me in order for me to proceed. So when they check it, then I proceed. When you get out of set uh, title, make sure you check the brand. I know Virginia will say uh, not actual. Other set will say not actual. It will say on here. It will, it will tell you. And how do you know? You have to check. They will list the meaning of the letters they use when you check the brand. Not actual will have a code there. If they put not, some of them will spell out not actual. Or some of them will use a letter to show what not actual is. Maryland here is C. The letter is C. Not actual mileage. Others say they have different ways. You have to pay attention to that title. So if the title is saying not actual, when you register the vehicle here in the state of Maryland, it must be not actual. Pay attention to the paperwork. Pay attention to the title. Please. You guys will lose your license for nothing. Make sure the customer... Uh, there's another one too that happens, you know. You see a customer, a customer will buy a car from somebody. You will have, like an individual will buy a vehicle and that person has got insurance violation. They've already printed their information and now they want to turn around to sell the car to someone else. You cannot do it. Most Agantara people register it. The name here is different from the name before them. Meaning they will register the vehicle, use the license of that person to register the vehicle, and the name here is different. No. If the name is different from the person that is before you, ask him, why is this name here? Go back to whoever sold you the vehicle to go and meet the owner of this vehicle to apply for a duplicate arrow. And if they want to sell it to you directly, let that person take you to that person, and then they will sell it to you directly, and then your name will be here. A lot of tag and tarot people go ahead to register the vehicle. You look on the name of the license, is different from the paperwork, so pay attention to all that. Another one is, this is very, very serious, and this might land you, land you in jail or whatever. 
collect notarized bill of sale from that customer and all vehicles from seven years or older any vehicle that you buy that is seven years or older uh, seven years or newer we need notarized bill of sale here in the state of maryland if you come to me and you don't have a notarized bill of sale i'm gonna use nada nada guides nadaguides.com and i will evaluate that vehicle and whatever that vehicle if you you have to tell me whether it's in a good condition or average or whatever excellent condition whatever it is i'm gonna tax you six percent of that price if you don't bring me the bill of sale a lot of tag and title people go ahead to register the vehicle without uh, getting a notarized bill of sale be careful of those that are not charging the full sales tax a customer came to me last week was it last week or yeah last week this customer came to me bought a vehicle worth 34,000. i put in the system the system calculated the sales tax and his total was almost 2500 as i said this is your 30 day time tag he said oh this is too much for me i'm not gonna pay the full uh, say six percent on this uh on this uh, registration i know a tag and title who's gonna register that's gonna charge me less sales tax i said jesus christ I says charge you sisters without the dealer bill of sale or just charge you sisters. So MVA, you guys need to pay attention. There are a lot of custom uh, tag and tag people doing stupid things. Instead of MVA to pay, focus on these people who are doing fraudulent things. They focus on innocent people like us who are who are doing right in this state in this state of Maryland. Please pay attention to these people. So, how do I know this uh, guy ended up registering the vehicle? The girlfriend now came to me like five days later. She came to me on Saturday, this past Saturday. And I asked her, I said, have you guys registered the vehicle? She said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My boyfriend registered it at a tag and tarot and he paid $1,500. Tell me how much is 6% of, how much is 6% of 34000 It's almost 2000 2000 and change, 23. Say about 22, 22 and change or 23 and change. That was what the system calculated. This guy registered this vehicle for 15. Which tag and title registered this vehicle? I asked the lady, she said, oh no, that's my boyfriend. I'm not gonna, I don't know anything. You know, my boyfriend registered the vehicle. So please, tag and title people, make sure you go by the dealer bill of sale. If they don't give you dealer bill of sale, send them out. Not all good money, not all money is good money, yo. I, I'm, I'm just being honest. <laughs> I'm just being honest, so. So please make sure you charge the full six percent on whatever. A lot of people walk away from my office and say, "Oh, another tag and title will charge me less." I say, "Okay, go there." I say, "Please." Even sometimes I talk to them to see if they will be able to give me the tag and title name so that I be able to report this tag and title people. So I don't know how this guy registered this vehicle. If they want, okay, I don't have the VIN number somewhere, you know. MVA, I think you guys need to be flagging all vehicles that are seven years or newer to make sure everybody's in compliance uh, to this, uh, whatever that is going on. So please, tag and tell this is how you lose your license. Do what is right. Make sure they give you the paperwork and that's 6%. Even the 34000 when they pay 34000 and they have other fees that are taxable, you have to include all those fees and tax them. That's what the system says. If they're not able to pay this amount when they come to register the vehicle, let them roll it in their loan. This guy in question, I was, I was talk, he paid cash for the vehicle. So he was obligated to pay the sales tax on the vehicle and the guy refused to pay the sales tax. He walked away. So I don't know which tag and tariff he went to register the vehicle. Another customer came to me and told me his previous vehicle, he paid 40000 he said the tag and title register. I think he came to me to register a vehicle that he bought out of state. And this one ha was a lot of money too. So when he came, he was trying to play around it. He said, Miss Lever, you have to help me. I said, look, sir, I'm going by your bill of sale. Dealer bill of sale says you're supposed to pay 6% of this, uh, of this, uh, of the total price. So the guy, I don't know what he brought. He brought me one paperwork. He said, oh, there was a car bought uh, 40000 The tag and title taxed me on 4000 I said, did he make a mistake? Or I, th I thought about that for like a second. I said, this must have been an honest, not even this honest, it's not a, an honest mistake. This was something that the person did. I said, sir, I have to charge you on, you see your bill of sale? When I put it in my system, it's not me that calculates it. The system calculates it automatically. So the guy walked away, said, okay, I have to go back to the tag and title. So I don't know what other tag and title people do out there. 
we need secret shoppers. We need secret shoppers to track these people down. Not all tag and taro people are, are supposed to be open. If they're not doing right, they're supposed to be shut down. So that the honest people will make a living the right way. I'm going to make another video to tell MVA that they need to find secret shoppers or investigators that will go undercover to catch these crooks. Because they have to collect the sisters for the state. You cannot rob the state because this is a, it's a situation that will take you to jail, to prison. So be careful of what you guys do. This license is not, this business is not, and yeah, it's not any kind of uh, business you get away with a lot of things. It's a sensitive uh, business. It can be tracked to you. If they review your paperwork or you do, a, do an audit, they're going to find all these stupid things you do. So be careful. Do not, when you have a question, tag and title agents, when you have a question, please do not call other tag and title people to guide you. Call your agents. When you become a tag and title agent, there's an agent that's assigned to you for you to call for all your questions. If you don't know anybody, call the ERT department. Ask them whatever questions you want to ask. They are there to help you. Don't call the regular MVA. The regular MVA, they only know how to deal with individuals. They don't know the business. They, we, the tag and tarot people, they, it's not their job. So stop calling the regular MVA because they give you the wrong information. And when they are one time, they told me I was uh, authorized to process survey. So please, refrain from calling other tag and tarot people because if they're making a mistake, and what they do, that's the uh, advice they're going to give you. Try to contact your agent. Your agent will guide you on what to do and what not to do. And also, you, I encourage you to read the interactive uh, title and registration manual. That will tell you the things you're authorized to do and the things you're not authorized to do. So please, that should be your standby book. Me, every day I call Envy. I've never called any tag and title whatsoever to ask for any advice because they can't help me. My agent, I have a very excellent agent. My agent helps me. Whatever questions I have, whatever, she guides me right. When I went to MV and they were telling me I was authorized to process average, I called my agent. I said, talk to these people. You've told me that I'm not authorized to process and they're telling me I'm authorized. My agent called them and told them, this lady, you see. So make sure you have your agent. Let your agent's phone number be like your number one number to call if there's any problem people will come here i look at the transaction i don't feel comfortable i call ERT. ERT will tell me miss liver you're not authorized to process they tell me and i send the customer away go to mva any customer you encounter the paperwork is not right and you're not authorized to process do not send them to another tag and title tell them to go straight to mva don't send them to another tag and title send them to mva Like I said, use the interactive manual, you know, for your guide. Anything you need, the pros and cons, I'm going to read most of them here to you very soon. Make sure all vehicles sold by Maryland dealer is occupied. Uh -huh. yeah, I've already mentioned this. Any vehicle you sell here in the state of Maryland, like a dealer sells to an individual with no Maryland safety inspection, please do not register. If you register that vehicle, Envy is going to call you to bring in the inspection. And you don't want this all the time because as they calling you they print that in the system you try it again it's gonna be it's gonna be it's not gonna be good for your license so that's all i have to say the next one is i'm gonna read the things that we are not authorized to process here in the state of maryland all the tag and title people are not authorized to process this so let me read them and it goes like this no duplicate title vr003 processing Duplicate title. We don't process duplicate titles. You know, we we'll take them to motor vehicle. No branding of titles. Like a vehicle is uh, salvage and you're changing it to actual or changing it to a clean clear title. That's a red flag for you. You're not authorized to do that. Any vehicle that has salvage S, like I told you, different states with different way of uh, of uh, stating what the vehicle, or what the brand of the vehicle is. Read the title and sometimes they will tell you odometer codes or tell you the codes you know the letters they use they're gonna, there's gonna be an explanation it's gonna tell you what those letters mean so trace that letter and see if it's something you can register and if it's not something you can register send the customer to motor vehicle vin no vin plate assignments we are not authorized to assign vin to customers vin plate they have to go to glenbony Take the vehicle to Glen Bunny, and then the inspector will inspect the vehicle and then engrave a VIN number on the vehicle. No new 
disability plates. We don't issue disability plates. Anyone that has any disability uh, plate, they should go to motor vehicle. Go to motor vehicle for disability. And we don't process all that because you have to show a uh, doctor's report or whatever in order for MVA to qualify you for that. So no tag and tariff is authorized to process that. No taxes. We don't do taxes. We don't do uh, state and local government vehicles. We don't do those. Law enforcement, no. Tax on exempt. No tax exempt for business. There's no tax exempt. Everybody pays the sales tax. Everybody pays the sales tax. So there's no, uh, you exempt for this. Even the system doesn't even allow that. Uh, no exercise tax for new residents. Everybody pays the sales tax. For new residents, people who are transferring out of state, when you transferring out of, you're transferring into Maryland, you relocating to Maryland. If your vehicle is seven years or newer, you have to go to motor vehicle to transfer the registration. We don't do those because some of you you're paying on the vehicle and you don't have the title of the vehicle. So if you don't have the title of the vehicle, the uh, you people don't have the titles of the vehicle. There's no way for us to register that vehicle. So any newer vehicle that is seven years or newer. Tag and title do not process. We only authorize to process from seven years or older. We process seven years or older. The system will allow us to tax on 640. 640, you tax is percent on 640 because they've already paid the sales tax in their state. So when they come to Maryland, they pay a little bit of sales tax. The next one is no out of state uh, currency, gray market vehicles. No out of country. This is like, yes, foreign vehicles. We are not authorized to register foreign vehicles. Any vehicle from Canada, outside US, you have to go to motor vehicle, do not process. A lot of people process Canada. I don't know why. So please, they have some inspections they have to do in order for this vehicle to be registered. Send them to motor vehicle. Motor vehicle is the only one that can register this vehicle. No registration correction. If there's a mistake, such as uh, uh, mileage, uh, someone made a mistake with the mileage, the VIN number, someone made a mistake with the VIN number, go to MVA in Glen Burnie, corrections department on the second floor. They will fix whatever. And once they fix it, they're going to give you correction letter. That correction letter will be, there will be a seal. I don't know if they put a seal, but there will be MVA logo that will say correction. So when you're registering that vehicle, you must attach the two together to register that vehicle. So we don't do those things. These are the things we are not authorized to you know do here you should pay attention to the things you are not authorized to do you know here in the state of maryland and then the ones you know every other thing you are authorized to register so i've mentioned this if you didn't get it go to mva um mva uh, no not mva go to go to google search engine type mva um, uh, not mva type interactive title and registration manual if you type it the system will pull it up Look it up there. Don't download it. You know why I said don't download If you download it and they make changes, you will not be able to see the letters. So always view this interactive manual online. Do not download it because if you download it and it's updated, you won't be able to see the right information. So please, make sure you read the bulletins. Tag and title. Read the bulletins that are sent to us period periodically. If you know that you don't receive the bulletins, contact MVA Business Licensing Office and let them put you on the list so that if they make changes, you'll be able to get that information. That's all I have to say. I'm going to make one for MVA so that they'll be paying attention to all these fake tag and title people that don't know what they're doing over there. So this will end the video. If you have any questions, I can be reached at 410 668 6000. Thank you for your time and God bless you.